my friend, Mrs. Micheloni. And Mystery Doug just told us a whole bunch of great ways that polar animals survive the cold. But Mrs. Micheloni, what do the Wisconsin animals do in the winter time? That's a great question, Mrs. Lachman. And they have lots of cool adaptations. Let's learn about them. So animals must be tough to survive conditions in Wisconsin. There's snow and sleet. Ice covered lakes and rivers. Strong winds and wind chill. And of course, longer nights with more darkness. So how have animals adapted to our harsh winters? Some animals migrate. Our state bird, the robin, migrates north to breed and raise their young, then migrate back to the south for the winter. They prefer to raise their young here in the north woods because in the summer we have more hours of daylight. Monarchs. During the summer they breed and hatch in northern parts of the United States and Canada. In the fall, monarchs have an instinct to fly to Mexico to stay warm. Hundreds of thousands of butterflies fly 3,000 miles to their new home. They can fly 50 to 100 miles in one day. Some animals grow thick fur for the winter. Deer have coats of fur for each season to help stay warm or cool and also to camouflage better. Did you know deer have hollow strands of fur? This locks in their body temperature and helps them insulate. This is a deer bed. Coyotes also grow thick fur and are known to be different colors based on where they live. Some animals eat, eat, and eat. Chickadees eat 35% of their weight in food each day. They must do this because they shiver to make body heat and that requires a lot of energy. Chickadees will find food and hide it for later. Here's a video of Mrs. Lachman chirping at chickadees. Let's listen. In the winter, cottontail rabbits must switch the type of food they eat. In summer months, they have grass, weeds, and fresh foliage like leaves. In the winter, they eat twigs, bark, and buds on trees. Some animals take long naps. Woodchucks or groundhogs build summer dens in summer fields, winter dens in dense forests. Did you know they build different chambers for sleeping, hibernating, and even one for a bathroom? Skunks take long naps too. Females will huddle together in dens while male skunks nap alone. Some animals huddle together. Garter snakes find dens and lay together in tight coils. They are cold-blooded and need each other to maintain a minimum body temperature. Mice also huddle together in nests. When they forage for food during the day, they create tunnels under the snow. Some animals live underground. Red squirrels create nests under fallen trees and underground. They eat pine cone seeds and leave the cone and scales from the pine cones on top of their nests. These leftovers are called middens. Bears will hibernate underground in dens as well. They eat all summer and fall to gain weight for their long hibernation. Some animals freeze and thaw. Woolly bear caterpillars create glycerol, which is a lot like natural antifreeze. This helps their inner cells not freeze. Wood frogs can freeze two-thirds of their body and become froxicles. They can shut down body function, stop breathing, and their heart also stops beating for weeks at a time. They freeze and thaw multiple times in one winter. Some animals slow way down. Animals that slow way down move slower, eat less, and rest more. Fish will sink to the bottom of lakes to rest. Turtles rely on water moving across their body to get oxygen. This is one way to avoid moving and using their lungs.